Hi you guys, welcome back. Today we're going to talk about asset allocation and how a differing in your asset allocation can affect how your portfolio not only performs on good years, but how much it can affect you in bad years. So I decided to go ahead and take a look. We're at uh, PortfolioVisualizer.com and you guys, this is a free online tool you can use. All you have to do is Give them an email and you can you can log on and put this in kind of the way you like. So we're going to do a year-to-year -year basis. We're going to go back 20 years to 2000. We're going to stop in 2020. We're going to include year-to-date. We're going to start with a $10,000 investment. All right, we're not going to add any money to this. We're just going to use this for an example. And we're going to say that they rebalance the portfolio annually, okay? So the first thing we're going to do is all we're going to do is put in a U.S. stock market index, total stock market, VTI, for example. And we're going to put in a an immediate term treasury fund, so basically a cash account. So in portfolio one, we're going to go 100% stocks. Portfolio two, we're going to go 80-20. And in portfolio three, we're going to go 50-50. Now, I know that sounds really, really conservative to a lot of you, but here's the thing. I want you to think about this from the point of view that you would maybe be retiring in a few years like myself. All right, so we look at it. First of all, we see the breakdown. Blue is representing stocks. Red is representing bonds, or in this case, treasury fund, right? So treasuries are pretty much guaranteed by the U.S., but they're not yielding much. So let's take a look down here at the returns. And I'm going to leave the whole thing up here, you guys. But So let's take a look. So portfolio one, if we invested $10,000 in 2000 and didn't do anything, just let it grow and reinvested all the dividends, you guys, we'd finish with a balance of 37077 And that is pretty amazing, right? We more than tripled our money. Uh, but let's take a look at the best year. The best year that they got in those 20 was a yield of 33.35%. And the worst year, a loss of 37%. Just over 37%, okay? If we look at the 80-20 portfolio, it actually did better. It actually did better than 100% stocks because we had a few years where it goes. And again, the best year on the 80-20 was only 26%, you guys. But look at this, that year that the other one lost 37%, we only lost about 27% here. What about the 50-50 portfolio? So this is one that maybe somebody that's getting into retirement who wants to have some more safe assets. You guys, they're only behind the leader by about $1,500. Uh, pretty close. And if we look at the best year, again, it's lower, right? Their best year was only 18 and just under 18.5%. But their worst year was just under 12%, where the 100% stock portfolio lost over 37. And if we come down here and we look at the years, we can see 2000, 2001, 2002, right? The dot-com bubble, that was bad. And we got some back in 2003, but it didn't really return greatly. Then the big Great Recession came in 2008. And we lost huge, right? And then it's been pretty much coming back, other than a little hiccup there at the end of 2018, until this year, where we had our pandemic drop. Obviously, that was a little bit hitting. But if you look at back to where we are, you guys, we're all pretty close together. So what does that mean for you? Well, it means the people that are out there saying it's better to have everything in stocks and no safe money, uh, I think they're missing the boat. And I'll tell you why. The one thing that having a little bit of either cash or some treasuries or some bonds in there is it smooths out the ride a little bit over the long haul. Now, that doesn't mean you're going to do as well in short term. But as you get closer to retirement, these are the kind of things that may be more important to you when it comes to not losing on your portfolio. A lot of people will come back and say, well, you know, it's safer for me to have all that. Possibly true, right? But let's change this up just a little bit. Let's go, let's add in one more asset class. Let's add in some international. 
So let's go ahead and say that we're going to add global X US stock. So that's going to be a total international fund. So let's say we're 80% in US stocks, 20% here in global. So here we decide we're going to go 70 here, 10 international. And here we're going to say that we are 40% and 10%. Let's take a look and see what that does to our portfolio over the same time frame, you guys. We have not done as well when it comes to international. So in our first portfolio, okay, so they just didn't add the third. Okay, I see they didn't add the third color on this. But the, if, you, if you so if on your first portfolio, we're still 100% stocks, but we're 80% U.S., 20% international. When we get down here, we're actually 70% U.S. stocks. 10% international, 20% in intermediate treasuries. And for the 50-50, we actually are 50% in intermediate treasuries, 40% in the U.S. stock market, and 10% in the global market. So let's take a look how this one did. Well, the first thing that jumps out to me is we see that our balances are about $5,000 lower to start with. So that's a little disturbing, but... Let's take a look at the best year, 33.15%. Worst year, 38, almost 38.5%, you guys. Uh, we look at the 80-20 portfolio, and the, again, that actually did the best. And if we look at our best year here, we got about 26.5%. And on our worst year, we lost 27.67%. So that's a pretty big hit. Now, if we go down to our 50-50, which is really... 40% U.S., 10% uh, international, 50% in treasuries. Our best year was only 17 and three quarters, but our worst was a little over 12 and a half. And we can see that. After, and actually, in 2000, our 50-50 was the only one that stayed positive. But you can see that when you go 100% stock portfolio, you guys, it greatly increases your downside potential. Now, obviously having more in stocks has more upside potential. But when we get to these things, we need to be really cognizant in thinking about the fact that we can actually hurt our portfolio by being too aggressive. And right now we're in a very volatile time. So it's another thing to think about. All right, you guys, what is your portfolio? What is your asset allocation? Let me know in the comments. Do you hold bonds? Do you hold treasuries? Do you have international? Do you disagree with me on this? If you do, let me know in the comments. All right. Thanks. And as always, if you're not already liked and subscribed, you guys do me that favor. All right. Thanks a lot.